If I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do Is to save every day All right, I'm on my fourth dram of the evening. I started out with a famous grouse, just the regular famous grouse to get my palate going and wet my whistle. The next one was a Tullibardine 225, uh, non-age statement, uh, Highland single malt, aged, or shall we say finished in Sauterne casks from France, or Sauterne barriques from France. Then I had the Gordon and MacPhail Mortlock 15, which didn't really do much for me when I first opened it, but now after three and a half months or so, it's getting better. Another one that was, well, shall we say, hyped by so many people, so many different reviewers, on YouTube have said that this one is the cat's ass, this one is special, this one is great. Then when I opened it with my typical neck pour, I thought, meh, it's not anything near what these guys say it is. But I've been taking the occasional pull off the bottle and now that it's almost five months since I opened it, I think I'm going to give it another try. And this is the Glendronic 18, the Allardyce. Everyone has been singing the praises of this one. And so that's why I ended up buying one. I had to search high and low. And I did search high and low and I finally located one. And so here it is. I'm going to pour myself a dram of this one. Glendronic is known for sherry. The Glendronic 12 is fantastic. It's probably one of the best entry level 12 year old whiskeys going. Amazing. There's also the Glendronic peated, which I found quite nice. It had that sherry, but it also had the peat to balance the sherry, which I thought was just mwah, beautiful. Now this one is the sherry bomb. This is a 2017 version of the 18 year old. Right away. I'm getting a fruity nose. Reminds me of grape vines. Reminds me of ripe fruits. Reminds me of ripe grapes. Now I'm getting something malty and some wood influence. We have legs. They move slowly, meaning that it's quite viscous. It's bottled at 46% alcohol by volume. It is 18 years old. Did I mention that already? The Glendronic Allardyce 18. Oh, now I'm getting a maltiness. 
something spicy like nutmeg. Vanilla. And still there is this cap of fruitiness on top of that. Very complex on the nose. Very complex. It's not just a sherry bomb. A sherry bomb would be just sherry, but this has got other things going on. Things that I maybe did not pick up on when I first started with this bottle, and things that maybe took I didn't pick up on yet that I'm only getting now. Ah, what else do I get on the nose? What is that other thing? There is a bit of a citrusy thing happening. Or wait, it's something be besides citrus. It's quite a bouquet of fruits. Yeah, there's a citrusness. I'm getting this strange melons. I'm getting melons. And again, a little bit of clay note. And then malt again. This is surprisingly, this is very complex. It's changing as it goes. I get different things almost with every sniff, which is probably why this whiskey is so highly regarded. Mm. Vanilla. Vanilla, caramel. There's a little bit of a More of that maltiness. Something nutty, too. It's like... Like ground-up nuts. Ground-up walnuts and... Cashews. This is a very nice nose. It's giving me something different every time I take a sniff. Grapes, licorice. I'm getting licorice now. Some red licorice. Yes. Red licorice. This makes me want to run out and get some red licorice. <laughs> Run out to the nearest convenience store and get me a great big bag of Twizzlers. <laughs> but that's pure sugar and no good for me. It's bad enough that I eat chocolate sometimes. And my favorite M&M caramels. And then I take pills for that because I'm diabetic. Okay, I cheat a little bit. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> ah, what an experience.
let's just say this is a superb nose. There's more of that licorice note. Beautiful. I think I'm going to taste it. Mm. It's not a very thick and chewy mouthfeel, but it does coat the mouth with fruit. I'm thinking of those really dark grapes. Dark purple grapes. That was only the first sip. Maybe I'll get more out of it this time. There's quite a lot going on here. There's all those fruity notes. There's some vanilla underneath all those fruity notes. There's a maltiness to some extent. I'm getting some vanilla somewhere in there, but it's 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 covered over by the fruit. Dark purple grapes. A little bit of citrus. Maybe a hint of ginger. There is quite a bit going on here. I'm going to give it some water. Now let's see what water does to it. Just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. One, two, Two little drops. That should get the alcohol molecules to let go, release, break the bonds that hold the flavors to the alcohol molecules. Oh! This is a completely different animal with a little bit of water. I'm getting chocolate. Ugh. Chocolate. I didn't get any chocolate before the water. Getting berries, blackberries. Grape chocolate. Grapes, those dark grapes are still there. But now I'm getting chocolate, what I wasn't getting before. And on the palate, I was getting red licorice before. I wonder if I'll get that this time. Maltiness, some vanilla. And it's changing all the time. Vanilla, custard. Oh. Weird. 
what has that done to the flavor? What's the palate doing now? Mm. Oh, that is so much richer with a little bit of water. Complex. Oh man, there's a lot going on here. Let's, oh. Chocolate and licorice. Fruits. Okay. Second, wait, water. Give it another sip, second sip with water. Vanilla. Vanilla. Chocolate. Red licorice and black licorice. I'm even getting ham. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. There was a ham note. Tasted like a cooked ham. Or smelled like it. Just a little bit. Chocolate fudge. Oh, I did not get this when I first opened the bottle. Vanilla. Custard. Thick, thick custard. Chocolate again. Oh man, this is good. That's just on the nose. Okay, let's go for the palate again. Mmm. 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 Mm. Black licorice, citrus, vanilla, dryness, wait, custard, wow, I'm getting something slightly fruity on the finish. There's a lingering dryness. There's a lingering chocolate. <clears throat> Excusing me, please. This is fudge. Every bit is good as the praises that everyone was singing about it. And I didn't realize until I have one third of a bottle left. This is another one that you need to take your time with. You can't be rushing it. Oh, fudge. Licorice. Red and black licorice. Custard. I'm getting a little bit of a vegetal note now. And a malty note. Oh, this is, this is amazing. And I bet you the next sip is gonna be amazing too. Oh, glorious in mouth and, and magnificent and mouth watering. And there's so much going on here. This is a great experience. 
If you can find it, get it. But it's not going to be cheap, and you have to take your time with it to get the full benefit. I do finally recommend this, even though it didn't wow me when I first opened it. It needs some time to open up. Ah, that is just lovely. That is a beautiful nose. I wish I could convey to you, or I wish that I could make you smell this the way I'm smelling it right now. Ah. Without any further ado, Slanchava. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs>